Hi, Sam here with CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultant's Express Tip on using overlay components. In En-ROADS, there are a lot of tools to help with overlays, such as cross-slope optimization, creating adjusted vertical alignments, and so forth. But today we're going to focus on components. Specifically, we're going to create an overlay component to accomplish just a simple overlay. Here, I have in Roadway Designer a base template showing where I want the finish grade to be, and the adjusted vertical alignment has already been applied. And what I want to do is create an overlay component to fill in the difference between where I want the finish grade to be and where the existing ground currently is. So I'll go to my template. Here's the base template. I'll add a new overlay component. Notice with the overlay component I have options that aren't available in a normal component such as the top option and bottom option. Here I'll tell it where I want the top of the overlay to be and I want the top of the overlay to follow the component. So it will follow this base component that I've already created. The bottom option I want to follow the surface and the surface is the active surface. So I'll simply trace my base component. Notice it appears that the component has no depth to it. However, when I test it, you'll see that it does indeed follow the existing ground or active surface. So I'll go back to Roadway Designer. I'll synchronize. And notice the gap between the proposed finish grade and the existing ground has been closed with the new overlay component. As I step through, you'll see the overlay component does change based on the difference between the proposed finish grade and the existing. Notice it traces right along the existing. But what about areas where I don't have enough of an overlay? Maybe I have a minimum of 8 inch overlay that I need. Well, let's go back to the template. I'll edit the component. I'll give the component a depth. So I'll tell it I want um, 8 inch depth to the component. But for the bottom, instead of always following the surface, I want to set it to follow lowest, which means the lowest of the existing ground or 8 inches below the top of the overlay component. I'll apply that. Notice the component now has depth. What we're seeing here is the minimum depth of that component. Back to Roadway Designer. I'll synchronize. And now notice I have the minimum 8 inch overlay, even though it goes below the existing ground. If I go back a few sections, you'll see when it needs to have more of an overlay, it will. So what I've set is basically just a minimum depth of overlay where I'll have to have some milling in some areas, some areas I won't. We'll take a look at leveling and wedging and milling and so forth in future Express Tips. Thanks for watching. You can find more MicroStation and En-ROADS tips at civilcadconsultant.com. While you're there, sign up for our email list and we'll notify you when we post new tips.